Hey folks, welcome to another video. This is Leak Code Problem 586, customer placing the largest number of orders. I'm gonna to try to make this one super quick because it's not really that complicated. So you have an orders table uh, that consists of two fields. You have the order number and the customer number. Um, order number is the primary key for this table. That's important to take into consideration. That would effectively mean uh, every row is unique to the order number. Um, and then this table contains information about the order number and the customer ID. Write a SQL query to find the customer number. So that's what we're outputting, the customer number, for the customer who has placed the largest number of orders. So the customer with the most number of orders or the largest number of records uh, should appear here. And they're only looking for the top, right, the, the one number one customer based on the number of orders. And it says here the test cases are generated so that exactly one customer will have placed more orders than any other customer. So what this basically means is you don't have to worry about uh, two customers having the, the, the same number of orders because then you kind of get in, involved with those other functions like, you know, the crazy rank functions and what have you. So let's get started. Again, this is going to be really, really straightforward. So we're selecting. Uh, we're outputting the customer uh, number. So select customer number. And what I'm thinking is uh, we can think of it as a subset, right? Give me a list of all customers and their respective number of orders or number of rows because each order, each row here is um, each, it's unique, right? So every order number is the primary key here. So uh, all you have to do is uh, count all. And then be sure to, uh, of course, this is from the orders table, but then group by the customer number. So this is effectively giving us, at the customer level, the total number of orders, right? Um, and then what we can do is we can order this data set by the same count in a descending format. So that way the largest value is the very first one. Um, and then if you put the limit one clause, that'll just give you the, the customer with the largest order volume. And because they're only looking for the customer number and not count all, we can take that out of our select statement and just leave it um, in the order here. And that should give us the result we're looking for. Looking good, and I'm gonna submit that. And there you have it.